Okay, last update, last Android 13 update for this custom ROM is here. We are talking about Rising OS version 1.4, and this is what I have installed right now. The link for this one is already available in the description. If it is not available yet for your device, you will get it very, very soon. We're talking about Rising UI 1.4, and as I just mentioned, this is the last update. This could be not, this is. This is actually because of the official announcement they did. We are having this last version, which is having a September security patch. And with the September security patch, as only this security patch is merged, there are no major changes with this new update. So we're gonna talk about some of the things which are already included in Rising UI. And as I just mentioned, this is the last update based on Android 13. Next update will be based on Android 14 and maybe it will not come as soon as what you are thinking about they thinking about i think so it will take around two months let's see but right now this is the last one autos launcher is what you have pre-installed and which is having some great customization some features which are not actually available in most of the custom rooms this custom room provides you them it also brings you some nothing OS 2.2 wallpapers pre-installed and all these wallpapers are installed. I mean, you don't need internet connection to apply this as far as I know because my internet connection was too slow but these wallpapers loaded successfully so I think so. These are already included. This is what we have including this one as you already know that Rising UI is one of the most customizable custom rooms right now. In personalization section, lock screen, miscellaneous, notifications, quick settings, there are many customizations available. In font section, there are many fonts available. I found the Letera font, the second one is the new one, I guess. Other font options are basically same. It also brings you a lot of icon pack options where you have, you have the option to apply them. Some extra custom monet options are present. Options related to customize your volume panel, which is so amazing. Like Ancient OS is one of those custom, custom rooms which brings you a lot of customizations but in reality that custom room is not that good, I mean not that stable but Rising UI is at least quite stable as compared to some other customization focused custom rooms. You have the option to customize the settings UI also, the settings home screen as you can see, you have the option to customize that. You have the option for settings search bar, search bar style which you can customize, settings header images options are also there. Whenever you apply any feature or option from here, it will simply restart the settings app once and then it's done. Including that we also have some setting styles available and one of my favorite is Oxygen OS 13, basically Color OS 13 style and let me show you this is how it is looking like. So these are some great options in the terms of theming and customizations which are present in Rising UI. If I move on to the quick settings panel, you can see the preview. The preview is looking so amazing. Not every custom room provides you this one by the way. And this custom room brings you Android 11 style quick settings panel too. After enabling the Android 11 style quick settings UI, what you have to do is you have to simply adjust the tiles layout once to make it properly look like Android 11. I found some of the users were not able to use the Android 11 quick settings panel properly because they did not adjust the tiles layout. You have to adjust that to use quick settings panel properly. Then click on edit option and add the tiles which you want to. Also have the option to customize the round and rectangle shapes very easily and if you want to enable or I mean drag and drop to arrange these styles simply click once and it's done this is what we have in the quick settings panel there are many customizations available in the quick settings header images also we have approximately 70 plus quick settings header images options available and including these quick settings header images you can customize a lot of things too if I move on to the Google services, I mean miscellaneous options, you have the option to enable or disable the Google services. Google services is also one of the things which plays an important role and you can simply disable that. You also have the option for parallel space. Some spoofing option also brings you like higher FPS in games and unlimited photo storage which everything is optional so that's really amazing and the netflix spoof option is also present other options are basically same floating rotate button which you can disable or hide ime button space etc etc this is one of those custom rooms which actually you can't miss by the way if you are a redmi sorry redmi note 10 pro user then don't worry you have the miui camera included for some of the users who are looking for miui camera is included for you these were the things I just wanted to let you know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.